30. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. 20. 15. This is Atlas Mission Control at T minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Atlas engine ignition, zero, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying WGS-2 for the Department of Defense. The wideband global SATCOM spacecraft provides an order of magnitude increasing capacity to our joint warfighters and Australian international partner. Good steady state operating pressure on the RD-180. Now let's listen to Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data throughout the flight. On the SRBs, trailing out to the sustained pressure levels and the chamber pressures on the SRBs. We are now throttling down to 66%. Approaching max Q. And we are now passing through max dynamic pressure. Everything continues to look good. SRBs rolling into sustained PC phase. We have now passed through Mach 1. Everything is looking good. We have gone to closed loop control on Atlas PU. Valve responding as expected. Engine has throttled back up to 80%. Right on time. And the vehicle now is 12 miles in altitude and 11.1 .1 miles downrange traveling at 2,200 miles per hour. And we've had burnout of the SRBs. We are throttling up the RD-180 to 100% thrust. Everything is looking good. Everything continues to operate nominally. We are now two minutes into the mission. Everything is looking good. The vehicle now weighs half of what it did at liftoff. Coming up on SRB jettison. And we've had SRB jettison right on time. Everything is looking good. Next mark event we're looking for is throttling down to 95, which we have just achieved. The vehicle is now 33 miles in altitude, 67 miles downrange, traveling at 4,900 miles per hour. And we've activated the reaction control system, firing the pyro valves to pressurize the RCS loop. Everything is looking good. Continuing to operate the RD-180 at 95%. Vehicle continues to fly normally. And we're seeing normal PU activity. RCS loop up to normal pressure. Everything is looking good. And we've now passed the point where the mass of the vehicle is now 25% of what it was at liftoff. And we start a boost phase chill down. Uh, flowing hydrogen through the engine. And we are at our 5G throttle segment, maintaining 5Gs. Everything is looking good. 10 seconds from booster engine cutoff. Uh, 4.6G throttle limiting. Boost phase chill down is complete. We have cutoff and stage separation. We have pre-start on fuel and locks. 
Everything looking good. Ignition and full thrust. The RL-10 is up and running normally. Everything looking good. Coming up on fairing separation, we have had fairing separation. Good signatures there. Good dynamic response on the vehicle. We are now in the beginning portions of a 10-minute, 43-second nominal first burn of Centaur. We have gone to fixed angles on Centaur PU. Engine parameters reacted normally. And everything continues to look good. This is Atlas Mission Control at uh, L plus five minutes, 32 seconds and counting. And as you just heard Rob Gannon provort, uh, report, we've heard um, that the uh, first few mark events of the flight have gone as planned. The uh, solid rocket boosters were jettisoned as planned. And then uh, the first um, stage of the vehicle, Atlas booster, uh, performed as planned, was jettisoned a few moments ago. And the payload fairing jettisoned event uh, occurred as planned as well. So the flight is continuing uh, as planned. We're uh, um, now six minutes into the flight. And as you can see, if you're watching the broadcast the satellite toolkit imagery showing the uh, uh, the progress of the flight as we continue down range here. Currently we're at an altitude of 103 nautical miles and 118 miles down range from Cape Canaveral and uh, or rather 722 miles down range from Cape Canaveral um, at this time traveling at a velocity of 13,156 miles an hour. 